today on Great Day Connecticut, a celebration of superheroes, comic books, sci-fi, and anime. Terrificon returns to Mohegan Sun this weekend, and we are getting a sneak peek of all the fun. And make a splash, but stay safe while you're doing it. We're checking out a brand new swim school here in our state where you can have fun and learn important water skills. Plus a fun and easy craft that teachers will love. Kate Francis is here with a great back to school project. We're making your day a great one, starting right now. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to A Great Day, Connecticut. I'm Kara Sundlin. It's the ladies' edition. The ladies' edition, yes. The lunch ladies continued. Yes, yes. It's part two. Uh, Scott has picked the, you know, he always talks about the top ten days of the year. Well, he's picked the, the top week of the year to I have so. on vacation. I so know. good for him. Although we were texting because both Scott and I have the same habit. We listen religiously to CBS News 880. Maybe oh, if you maybe you guys so do on sad. the way at 880, uh, the AM radio. And that's how I get my news as I drive mm -hmm. to work. Has been for years. Yep. And they're not going to do it anymore. Come September, there's going to be no CBS News 880. Yep. Over 50 years that they've been putting that out, right? Well right. over 50 yeah. years. Marla Diamond. I know. And Harley Carnes. Yes, yes. Fred Schneider, oh. God rest her soul. <laughs> all these... All these names, household legends. names, legends, absolutely, out of New York. So they're just um, going to really make sad. it an ESPN Sports 24 hour sports channel. Okay. And 1010 Wins will still be in existence. Yes, I didn't even realize that they own 1010 Wins yeah. too. But I will say a trick, and I know it's just a changing times. I mean, when I mentioned this in the newsroom, there were plenty of people who said, What's that? But so it, it, I feel bad for what's happening um, to AM radio. However, uh, I'm sure part of it's streaming because you know now mm. with Apple Music, I just say, "Hey Siri, play CBS News," right? And it plays uh, wherever I am without yep. a signal. The 24-hour news that mm -hmm. CBS puts on. So, but I just want to yeah. anyway. I'm, we're thinking of you, fellow Harley journalists, Carnes. right? You've been our soundtrack to our mornings for so long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll hear some of them still on 1010 Wins. I know Marla yeah. Diamond crosses over on both, Yeah, so too, maybe they're so. just going to keep their, we're just only going to hear it there. Yeah, okay. let's hope. 1010 Wins, you give us 22 and minutes, we'll give you the world. <laughs> 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 All right, the singer uh, who rose to fame is Hannah Montana, now the youngest person to be named a Disney legend. We're, of course, talking Aww. about Miley Cyrus. She was teary-eyed as she accepted the honor to a standing ovation over the weekend at the D23 Fan Expo. Oh, good old Miley. Look at her. 31 years old now, Grammy Award winner. Um, she told the crowd of 12,000 that she's still proud to have been Hannah Montana, and she even dedicated the award to the character and all of the show's, show's loyal fans. And Cyrus was among 14 artists who were honored as Disney legends this year. Aww. That was a, I mean, she was such a huge staple for a whole generation. Right. And then so. such a transformation that she made. Yeah, when, absolutely. And all the parents were turning off Wrecking Ball. Like, mm. no, you can't watch that one. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Disney, we're getting a first look at the Snow White live action remake. Yeah. Rachel Zegler as Snow White and Gal Gadot as the Evil Queen. Take a look. So, whistle while you work. Good. Yeah, I love what they do with the live actions, and so, and I love Gal Gadot. She was mm. wonderful Wonder Woman for sure. Yeah. Uh, so also, it's a reimagining of the 1937 animated film, Princess on the Run from her stepmother. But you're gonna have a modern take. Uh, Snow White isn't necessarily saved by the prince. That's the tease. So <laughs> nice. that comes to theaters March 2025. Is the prince gonna, or is she gonna save the prince? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? And what about, what about the apple? <laughs> oh, it was dipped in some cauldron there, I saw. Um, so um, two stars of The Young and the Restless, they're yeah. going to head over to 
uh, bold and beautiful for some special episodes. Episodes. So if you love Laura Lee Bell, Michael Damien, who played Cricket and Danny, you're going to be able to watch them on the Bold and the Beautiful. Yeah, and uh, in the episodes, the pair are invited to the Forrester Estate for a party. Now, um, Bell last appeared on the Bold and the Beautiful 17 years ago. So the first of the two crossover episodes aired today, and the second one airs tomorrow afternoon at 1.30 right here on Channel 3. That's right. exciting when it those is. crossover episodes take it place. Is. Well, it's funny because uh, behind the scenes, you know, they're all friends because they eat in the same lunchroom. Oh, really? Yes. They when I went the out there to cover room? Bold and the Beautiful, they we went to the uh, Eric Budney, our photojournalist, and I, we, uh, actually it was Peter McHugh. We went out there, we got a little sandwiches, and then like they all just come and get their lunch in the wow. same place. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. The studios are right next to each other, so they just have to walk next door. Um, <laughs> calling all Big Brother fans, it's been a roller coaster on the current season of the hit show. Lots of game-changing surprises if you're a fan. Yes, yeah, so previous Big Brothers winners, Jag, Taylor, and Cody, are entering the Big Brother AI arena for a special episode. They're going to be analyzing the wildest blow-ups, the biggest moves, and the most jaw-dropping moments so far this season. So you can catch the hour-long show tomorrow night at 8 p.m. right here on Channel 3, and by the way, it'll also to stream live and on demand on Paramount Plus. I'm sure Scott is going to be catching up on that for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he, he said he would need like it's, now it's three days a week, so he said it's a big time commitment. It, it really is. Um, <laughs> but anyway, when we show you, hopefully you're enjoying it. And a big screen biopic about the life of Anthony Bourdain so is in the works. Dominic Sessa, star of The Holdovers, that was a, a great show too. Is in talks to portray the celebrity chef and travel documentarian. The title, Tony. Yeah. It's yeah. unclear what period of Bourdain's life the biopic will cover, but Bourdain rose up in the New York City culinary scene, and his book, of course, Kitchen Confidential. Which made me never oh. want to have brunch again. <laughs> No, right? He was like, basically, or brunch fish. is all, like, or swordfish. Yeah, don't Mondays. eat swordfish. Don't get brunch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but that was a bestseller book. My dad is a chef. I know he had it in his office and was inspired. And, you know, Bourdain inspired so many chefs out there and wannabe cooks mm. um, with no reservations. He was on the Travel Channel, Parts Unknown on CNN. Um, and this was all, of course, before his tragic death in 2018 at the age of 61. By suicide, so sad. Yeah, I mean, definitely opened up a lot of talk about mental health, right? For yeah. those who are, for those who are struggling, there is help out there for sure. And we have a great show on the way for your Tuesday afternoon coming up.